What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build video. My name is Savannah. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are doing great today. We are, like I said, back in Sims 4 building another home. And for today's video, I thought it would be fun to try a micro home. So in the last Sims 4 video, I kind of didn't restrict myself uh, as much as I maybe intended to in building the small home that we put together. So in this home, I decided you can see I have up in the top left corner the panel open that tells you the requirements for the small home the tiny home and the micro home and I really wanted to aim for a micro home in this one so we do make it happen we do make it work it actually comes in at being 29 tiles out of the required 32 so technically we had three more tiles to play with um, but I kept it like this because I liked the overall shape of the build this house is currently being built in Newcrest, the um, in that world that comes with absolutely nothing built in it, and we're building on a 20 by 15 lot. It's the one, if you're looking at the world in the very top right corner, is where we are building. And I thought that it fit uh, pretty well because um, I really like the scenery that's around this lot, and being a smaller lot, it kind of works for having a tiny home on it, or a micro home. So the micro home gives you a whole bunch of different uh, lot boosts and things and in addition to being a micro home I thought it would be kind of fun to do this one as a base game only build so in the last Sims 4 video I asked you guys what kind of builds you'd like to see and a few people said micro homes and a few people said base game builds so I figured I would try to combine them in one and see if we couldn't do both so this game is only using base game items base game wallpapers all that kind of stuff so if you only have have Sims 4 as a game, you'll be able to download this and play with it. So it is already up on the gallery. If you haven't already, you can search me on Origin as simply Savannah YT. I am on there and will be uploading pretty much everything I build onto the gallery so you guys can download it and play with it yourselves. But yeah, so if you only have the base game, uh, base game as it is, you're able to kind of play with this. I started off this build working with a reference picture as I frequently do because I don't consider myself creative right off the bat. I have to have something in order to work off of, something to look at, and that kind of leads my direction. So I was really looking for, and the closest thing I could find in game as far as uh, the wallpaper for the outside or the paneling for the outside was like vertical uh, wood uh, paneling, but like wider ones where it's like it's it's a solid wood but it's got little raised pieces and the closest I could find was the corrugated metal like for shipping containers and if we wanted to use just base game stuff that one wasn't going to work but I hope you guys kind of know what I'm talking about because the reference picture that I was looking at had that kind of siding on the outside of the house which I feel like is super super popular right now and and honestly I think would have looked a lot better but the kind of horizontal paneling that I picked I think turned out okay and I, I think I ended up with it at a little bit of a blue shade so I think it turns out okay and then the kind of this extension right here uh, I surrounded in brick and um, yeah so that kind of makes up the overall outside of the house that little extension part ends up being the bedroom the biggest struggle with the bedroom was the base game twin beds so this being a micro home I knew I wasn't going to be able to fit a double bed in there so I obviously needed to put a single bed but I I could not figure out which bed uh, I really liked. I And I really am not sold on the one we end up going with, but I don't have a whole lot of other options, to be honest, because there's a really, really a restriction on uh, objects just in general, using only base game objects. Um, and I, I, you can see it kind of started it off and then I, I end up leaving it and coming back to it because I was kind of struggling with inspiration as far as what to do in that room. I didn't want everything to be bland and one color um so that was kind of a struggle with this house altogether not to mention fitting everything in so being a micro home um and using only base game objects i didn't have access to like the tiny living stuff that you know is meant for this kind of thing uh so trying to squeeze in as much as i possibly can and in this build uh they don't have a fridge or a stove or anything like that so it it may not work real well for actual gameplay 
Um, maybe if you guys download it, you can kind of squeeze in a fridge, um, a fridge and a counter space. Um, and maybe those three extra tiles you can add on and, and make it work a little better. But the idea of it, if it was a, a, a house in real life, is that they would have storage underneath uh, in those cabinets and things like that, and wouldn't really be able to cook a whole lot of fresh foods. Um, I have a couple friends actually that have lived in places that don't have a kitchen altogether. So that's just kind of what this house uh, was representing in my mind is it's, you know, it's not ideal. It's not the best place to live, obviously, because you would love to have a fridge or a full kitchen. But uh, being a micro home, it doesn't have that. The layout of the bathroom I struggled with as well, just trying to make everything fit because I did act actually want to fit a shower, a toilet, and a sink in there. And I actually end up squeezing in just a little bit of storage as well. I didn't play test this build, guys. I'm so sorry. I had a sim moved in, but I kind of put it all together and I'm running a bit short on time. So as I'm recording this video, it's actually the evening before it's gonna go live for you guys. I spent my morning live streaming um, almost all morning and it, it took a little bit longer than I anticipated, which is totally fine because I, I had a blast doing it, but it does mean and it put me a little bit behind on recording and getting this out for you guys. So I didn't build test it, so I, I apologize if anything doesn't work for actual gameplay, um, but I'm sure you guys are able to kind of tweak this and make it fit exactly how uh, you'd like it to to work with your game. And if you do, please let me know. Um, you can always join our Discord, which is linked down below. If you'd like to share pictures of anything that you've built or pictures of this, if you download it and tweak it, I would absolutely love to see how you guys take uh, anything that I I've built and approve, improve upon it um, because I, I really enjoy that kind of stuff and it gives me great inspiration to see what uh, what other people are building. Moving on to the little living room area, color swatches were a big struggle for me as well. I'm just trying to figure out what works best with each other. Um, I, I still am trying to learn what swatches are on what objects and what's available in game. So I do have to do a lot of testing, a lot of bringing out objects here and there and really kind of going back and forth and changing swatches once things are put down and all that kind of stuff because I don't have the swatches on all the objects memorized yet. Um, and I, I, like I said in the beginning, I was trying to avoid this being extra bland. Um, oh, and there was another stipulation that I completely forgot to add that this is also a starter home. So I was trying to stay within a certain budget. So this is a uh, starter home and it values at about 18,494 simoleons. So not only is it base game and it's a micro home but it's also a starter home as well so this will be something that you know a brand new sim could move into because they have the budget to pay for it so I completely forgot uh, I was thinking in my mind like why didn't I use some other more expensive objects and that's why because I was trying to stick to a budget not only was I trying to stick to a restricted uh, object list but a budget as well so I kind of mashed those three things together I found that when I'm, I'm just now getting back into building in The Sims 4 and let them, instead of letting myself just have like complete free reign, um, giving myself restrictions like that is actually uh, helping my creativity in a sense of I don't feel overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but for whatever reason, having those restrictions in place really helps me kind of have a, a direction, I guess. So that's not just anything and everything. I can use everything that's available to me and build however I want and things like that. So that's kind of what's helped me. But also, again, as I mentioned in, in the beginning of the video, is you guys let me know what kind of builds you were interested in seeing and what kind of builds you were interested uh, in watching. So that's what I really took into consideration when making this little house here. Wallpaper is also something I really struggle with. I really love, um, I think you'll see me uh, use it here in a minute, is the like leaf wallpaper. I really love the design of that one and kind of the interest that it had, but I couldn't quite figure out how to make it work uh, in the actual build itself as far as the colors and things like that go. It is a micro home, so I was afraid of making it a little bit too busy. So I ended up making that one wall, um, 
the exposed kind of painted brick kind of uh, uh, wallpaper. Um, but then the rest of the house, I believe I leave just with some like crown molding and baseboard and like kind of a light blue color. But I really struggle with flooring and wall colors um, because I, I don't know, I just struggle with how to kind of like tie everything in and make it work with the space because I don't want all of my houses just to have white walls or, or plain walls. Um, but it's a, it's a part of interior design that I don't have a lot of experience with. So I really struggle when it comes to coming up with, with fun, interesting uh, wallpaper ideas, I guess. And um, you know, in game, there's, there's a lot of different options especially when you're not trying to stick to a base game build. Um, I just, you know, like I said, I, I haven't really found my groove with, with wallpaper and flooring quite yet. I did end up adding um, a little bit of clutter around the place. You can see um, some books and, and uh, a plant um, because I think every house deserves a plant because I think the greenery just adds a whole lot of interest and, and a little bit of color to anything, um, but kind of trying to make it a little bit more lived in. You know, I added the robe hanging on the wall in the bathroom and things like that. And then I go back to the bed and I feel like I tried every single twin bed and I tried every single uh, single bed like more than once went back and forth and then I finally end up kind of rearranging it and moving the bed to the other side of the room and it, it ends up working out better that way um, I think it you know it sticks a little bit out over the opening to the bedroom but as you can see the opening to the bedroom um, is not a door it's an archway and I figured that that was a little bit more space saving since you know with with a door you'd have to leave room for the door to open and to shut but with an archway you just have the those curtains that could kind of um, get drawn and and give you a little bit of privacy in your bedroom so I thought that that was a good space saving idea but also the fact that you know this is gonna be meant for a single sim this is gonna be meant for a single sim just starting out in life you know maybe it's their first home or something like that so you know the the curtains probably gonna be uh, sufficient enough for them you know if they do have somebody over to hang out they can kind of just draw the curtain so that they don't have to stare into their bedroom but when they're just living on their own you know, I, I have it right here with one curtain kind of drawn to the side. Um, so I thought that that was uh, something that would totally work for a single sim. And um, I eventually, like I said before, end up moving that bed. And so it kind of gives just a little bit more space in the room. And I, I do change the bed back <laughs> to what we had one last time um, because that, that other bed that I had just had too much of a frame. It was too large, kind of stuck out too much. And um, in, a, in a micro home, um, I do need to be conscious of the space and not uh, overly use the space with some ornate bed frame. Um, one thing I did struggle with is the archway to the bedroom. The wall kept reappearing. Um, I'm not quite sure what was going on, but I had to keep like replacing the arch to make that wall disappear. Like you can see it's it's there right now. There's a wall and then the arch just kind of goes through it. Let me know, is that a bug or is that something that you guys, you know, experience as well? Cause it was, it was really weird. It was like if I placed objects and stuff near it, it would kind of respawn that wall. So I'm not quite sure what was, what was happening there. Um, um, but anyway, I did have a question for you guys. I was curious, um, as somebody that does not own all of the Sims packs, I don't own, I own all of the expansion packs, but I don't have all of the stuff packs or all of the game packs. I was wondering what your guys' favorite stuff pack was, um, because I do eventually want to pick them all up, but in the interest of just building, I'm wondering which ones have the best build items. Um, I'm specifically looking for like clutter items or house plants, uh, decorative pieces, things like that, or which ones just have the overall best furniture in your mind? Um, because I would love to hear from you guys and what you think the objects uh, that are best are, because I honestly don't want to sit there and go through every single build object uh, that would come in every single pack. So yeah, let me don't know down in the comments uh, which one is your favorite pack so I can look into maybe getting that one. Um, give me a little bit of direction there as far as what to do. And now as we finish up the inside of the build, uh, uh, just with the bathroom kind of rearranging. We move on to the outside very quickly before we end the video and complete the build. So I did add just a little bit of an eating area outside, few little plants here and there um, for something for your Sims to do outside. Um, and I think it comes out super cute. Um, I do end up adding a few more plants after the video is done. You'll see those in the very end cinematic. Um, but yeah, just somewhere for your Sims to sit and eat because inside there's not 
got a, a table for them to sit. Of course, they could sit at the couch and eat, but then they could also come outside and sit and eat at a table. Um, I toyed with adding the uh, that planter there for a second, and then I realized that my filter had failed me and that non-base game items were showing, so I had to get rid of it, which was a huge bummer because I, I really did want to put that out there for the Sims to actually interact with and, and plant things in, um, but I ended up having to get rid of it, and I replaced it with just a circular round planter pot uh, instead so that the Sims could come out and garden. Um, I do feel like a lot of the homes that I've built so far are for Sims that love plants and for Sims that love gardening, um, but that's because that's kind of what I like as well. And as I mentioned, I think that plants add uh, a lot to the greenery and just make things look a whole lot nicer. So I do tend to add quite a lot of plants <laughs> to my builds. Um, and then doing a little bit of outside landscaping here, just with a few trees here and there. Um, again, I was kind of running short on money. As you can see, everything was turning red for me, um, <laughs> making sure that I could still afford everything. But yeah, guys, so we're gonna jump into some glamour shots here, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like this video or builds or Sims content like this, please do leave a like or a comment and let me know. It's really gonna help me gauge what you guys do and don't enjoy here on the channel and help me decide what direction to keep going in in the future. But yeah, I hope you really do like The Sims content because I sure do like making it. And until next time, I'll talk at you in the next video. Thanks, bye. Yo!